Hi, this is Eva Christofferson, and this is a special lunar eclipse report for Monday, the 7th of August 2017, where we have a partial lunar eclipse, a full moon, in uh, Aquarius, 15 degrees 25 minutes in Aquarius, the moon opposing the sun. 15 degrees of Leo and uh, it's called the Lion Gate and this is a special report as a tribute to the Lion the Age of Leo and it's happening in seen in Europe, Africa, Asia, felt everywhere, seen in, in our countries, uh, Central European time 1811, 18 hour, 8, sorry, 8 p.m., 11 minutes Central European time. Uh, this is a stargate, an opening called the Lion's Gate, an opening between the this lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse in the end of Leo. But it's also a remembering of the ancient times symbolized by the full moon in Aquarius, the quantum room, the ancient line with the moon, the emotional, the water. Aquarius is air, but the moon is uh, home is Cancer, where Venus is, our eternal love. And uh, it's a remembrance of the times where this patriarchy wasn't exist existing, the ages of Atlantis that lasted for several hundred thousand years, the age of Lemuria that was before. And uh, we have these astrological ages depending on the possession of the earth to thousand 120 years per uh, age and the age of Leo was between 11,000 years before Christ to 9,000 years before Christ and there happens this catastrophe of Atlantis that we are now re rewriting we're changing the timeline for that uh, catastrophe we're doing that vibrationally and with all the light workers and the star seed active on Earth, uh, we do it in this time now. And during the age of Leo and before the age of Virgo and the age of Libra, that's called the Golden Age of Atlantis. There was a great knowledge about crystals and about energy and, before, and also about the for us unseen that the patriarchy has programmed us to not believe in the dragons the magical the elves everything in nature that the tales from folklore speaks about these are real but in other dimensions so we have to ship we have to do a quantum leap a quantum leap of faith and uranus energy to be able to see again with our third eye and to speak with love with those beings that has guarded our earth during the patriarchy. Uh, our earth has been guarded by a lot of so-called mystical uh, creatures, especially the dragons, and also being guarded by the star ships from Arcturus helping us to overcome this dark age of patriarchy and during the age of Leo uh, the pyramids were built and the Sphinx the Sphinx is the Leo it's pointing to the royal fixed star uh, Regulus where the solar eclipse will be at the end of, of Leo 
Now Regulus has gone into zero degrees of Virgo, which is perfect because it, this is a healing. The Virgo quantum biology healing of ourselves reprogramming our DNA. And Mercury is there doing this job. And in, uh, in great uh, activity today is not just Mercury, Mercury that's taught, present in Atlantis and in, from Atlantis, they came, the survivors, to Egypt and to other parts of the world. And also active at that age was Osiris and Isis. Osiris now is in opposition, direct opposition to Jupiter. And in connection with Pluto. Uh, and it's a T-square. And Pluto. Osiris is the king of the underworld. Isis is in Taurus in direct connection with uh, the full moon. Uh, it's uh, a square, a square here between the full moon, Isis and uh, the sun during this full moon. And also the moon's node, the ancient south node, our cosmic lineage, our star seed, but also our lineage on this earth with this Atlantis uh, remembrance in Aquarius 24 degrees and the destiny to the Leo to express it to reveal it to see it to uh, illuminate in a positive way the things that go on in other dimension that we can't see with our fear-based sense, senses that we need to relax, to close our eyes, to see with our third eye and to speak with our heart with those beings and they are here. They are coming back to be seen. They have always been here but they are coming back to be seen. And Osiris and Isis is also speaking together with Thoth about the crystals. The crystals that were hidden from the catastrophe of Atlantis. Big important crystals hidden in another dimension under uh, the earth. There are 12 of them. They started to be active again 11, 11, 11 to 12, 12, 12. And the crystalline grid has been building with our contribution, has been building around the Earth, the 144 grid lines, the crystal, and it's soon finished. And with this high frequency that we build, uh, it's impossible for the fair beings to stay here. So they have to leave and go to the light and restore themselves. And uh, we illuminate the psychic, it's an opening here, a portal, this lion gate is a portal, we had a big psychic opening portal between Pluto in Capricorn and Neptunus in Pisces, a sextile that hasn't been for <laughs> many many years ago that sextile was as strong as it is now. and. This gives us the new way to see our world, to be in our world, to live with our three-dimensional world in connection with higher dimension, to use our quantum computer brain and heart better, to use our third eye to speak with love with other beings and to simply love everything in a positive way and step out of the fear, be very restricted in your energy exchange to the ones that still are in fear and to give this illumination to this earth. Have a good time in this fantastic Lion Gate full moon lunar eclipse. Bye-bye.